Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you and your family celebrate. I hope it was awesome, and it's good to be back. It's been about a week since my last video, and tonight we got the weekend recap, and I'm sharing with you the gifts that Santa left under the tree for me in the form of baseball cards and older toys. There's a lot of stuff to go over, so that is all tonight on The Weekend Recap. First off, I want to thank everyone that sent me a Christmas card. You guys are freaking awesome. I'm not going to show all of them individually, but um, you are definitely appreciated. I know I sent some out in return as well. And I'm going to start off with some gifts that my girlfriend Jess got me. Very generous, very thoughtful gifts. She got me a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show a few things that I think that you guys can appreciate. But uh, this one is the first one. How many of you guys remember these from your childhood? This is definitely a blast from the past, and it... I, it doesn't have a year specified on it, but I believe this was released in 1990. I remember like stores like Kmart, Hills had these. They also had bigger versions of this. Um, we have 1988 yearbook sticker packs in here that made by Tops. I see some 89 Bowman. There could be maybe a Griffey rookie card in there. I don't know. Um, and I looked at some of these two in the back. I was pushing this package around, and you can see some 1990 Fleer in there. The newest year... That is exposed. So I think these are around 1990, 1991, somewhere in there. We have a little brick of 88 Donruss with Will Clark, Diamond Kings on top, a pack of 88 Donruss, and some Donruss pop-ups. But I was going to open this, and I'm like, I'm not I'm not going to open this. There can't be all that many of these stockings still left sealed. So this is a keeper that I'm going to hang on to and eventually hang on a peg hook in my toy room, more than likely. But I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and thoughtful of her. She also got me another stocking. This one full of older packs. This is literally stuffed full of packs from the Junk Wax era primarily. But uh, there is some neat stuff in here as well. 88 Fleer. You can find some nice rookies in there. Good old 90 Don Russ, 88 Don Russ, 89 Score. I'm going to open one of these. Like I said, I don't want to take a whole bunch of time and open a ton of packs, but we have some more open later on. 88 Score, 91 Ultra. But uh, very thoughtful of her to grab me a big stack of packs. And there's still a bunch more left in there. Let's open, you know what, let's open these two. 92 Upper Deck, look for Ted Williams autograph. Or Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan even. This foil pack. Or maybe I'll get lucky and have some holiday luck. And I will run into the short print of Tom Selleck. Or, or at least a funny photo of Denny Nagel. Second year Nagel. I've been pumped on that as a kid back in the day. Frank Viola checklist. I would have absolutely scoffed and hated that because I hated checklists. And I think most kids did. At least in in my era of collecting. It's Pat Mahomes. A senior. I feel like some people are selling his cars for ridiculous amounts of money at flea markets because of his son. There's Donovan Osborne. I definitely was stoked on him there for a little while. Jack Howe. Trevor Wilson. we got a David Howard. It's a very... A boring tag there. This is a tap, it looks like. And we have a Johnny Bench, but it is not an autograph. That would have been absolutely nuts to get a Bench auto in here. And a Danny Darwin, that pulsating neck vein coming in hot. To end that pack, let's open 92, or not 92, 88. Fleer, see if we can find Edgar Martinez, rookie card, or Tom Glavin, or ourselves a Matt Williams. Shane Mack. I don't know if I've ever seen that car before. I'm going to declare a Mandela effect on that one. Wally Backman. Doug Sisk. See if we can find any offensive tobacco or booze signs in the background. Tracy Jones. <laughs> Matt Noakes and Kirby Puckett. Matt Noakes looking a little too excited. And Kirby Puckett looking kind of creeped out. Jim Deshays and Bill Lindsay. To end that pack. Nothing too crazy in there. Pocket definitely the best card in that pack. I'm going to save those other ones for a rainy day. And she also took the liberty of picking me up some 91 Bowman. She obviously must pay attention to my, my videos or me to know that I love 91 Bowman. She bought me two factory sealed sets. So now I have three for the count of 91 Bowman. Like I always say, I can't get enough of it because I think it's a freaking awesome set. Multiple Hall of Fame rookie cards in there. And she also got me this freaking awesome Real Ghostbusters ceiling fan. This is something that I have had my eye on for years now. I don't see it all that often, 
I saw it at a used video game store years ago for like 200 some bucks and I almost bought it but it was not sealed and I just kind of passed on it for that price. But she picked this up for me and it's a big box. That's why I'm filming it outside of my studio room. But um, it's got the original AIM sticker on it. So when you buy something back in the day um, that couldn't fit in a bag, they would put something like this on it just to make sure, like show the person at the front counter that you paid for it. And then the toys... I can't forget about the toys, but she got me a ton of other stuff too, but I'm not going to show it all. It would take me a while, but check this out. Screaming Heroes, Pete Vankman. The story behind this, maybe I made a video about it a while ago. I feel like it was probably a year, two years ago, somewhere in that range, where I bought this figure from a toy store. I don't know. It was on eBay, and I got it. I was so excited to get it. I got it, and the guy did a horrible job packaging it. He just like threw this into a priority mailer. No bubble wrap, nothing. And like the box was literally the width like of this bubble and card, and it got crushed, and it was all damaged, and I was real bummed out about it. But anyways, I ended up getting a refund, and then I ended up keeping the figure and just selling it for, I don't know, $20 less than I paid for it. So it worked out in the long run, but like still, I could not find this figure unpunched for a long time. I have two of these figures for this series, Screaming Heroes, um, and the both, both ones I have are unpunched, so I kind of want to keep them the same way. And this one popped up, so I sent my girlfriend Jess a link for it, and she bought it immediately. Which is kind of obvious, but still. <laughs> I was also kind of worried that maybe somebody else grabbed it up because it was a decent price. But now I have three of the five Screaming Heroes, and I am getting you know ever so close to getting every single series of real Ghostbusters. This kind of got damaged in the shipping process as well, but uh, not a big deal. This will go and do a... Uh, protective case, probably Toy Shield, since uh, Zolo World just can never keep any of their stuff in stock. But was really stoked about this one as well. This is the first one of this series that I have. I never went back and bought these in all my years of collecting Ghostbusters, Slimed Heroes, and they've increased in price over the last couple of years. These are about 150 bucks to $200 price range. This one's also unpunched. And this is Egon Spangler. So I was really excited to get this one and uh, to begin this particular series. Love Real Ghostbusters is one of my favorites of all time, as everyone is, I'm sure, tired of hearing me rant on and about. But um, I loved it as a kid, and I still love it today. So I am working on completely finishing every single series of Real Ghostbusters figures. And this is the beginning of Slimed Heroes. Very bright and colorful. Love it. So thank you again to my girlfriend Jess for all these awesome gifts and um, my parents also bought me some pretty awesome stuff too if you guys any of you guys get Beckett or read Beckett as kids I saw this and, and my parents were asking me for gift ideas and I had a hard time picking out random things that I want um, but I was like how about a Beckett you know I haven't got a Beckett in a while and uh, I used to love looking at Beckett reading Checking all the prices out, everything else, studying the rookie cars, rookie years, everything else. Uh, whenever I was a kid, that was an activity I loved to do. Every morning with a bowl of cereal, I'd be looking through Beckett. But um, I know most people don't go by the prices in there, obviously. But the articles are awesome, and it's just cool to go back, and you can see random error cards in different sets and stuff like that. It, it kind of sucks and that Beckett did the cash grab thing where they took out the year before the years of 2000. The only thing they have listed in here is 93 SP now. So it goes back to 2000, and that's it. And then, like, from 1980 to 2000, you got to buy the Beckett Almanac. So this is a monthly. Almanac is yearly. Or you buy the Vintage Collector, which is, like, pre-1980. So my dad picked this one up for me, too, which is pretty cool. It's pretty wild how much the prices have increased in, uh, in vintage um, over the last year. It's absolutely crazy. Compared to, like, what I was buying cards for at flea markets and stuff, like, within the last couple of years... Um, they've just really skyrocketed. You know, I used to be able to buy a, a Steve Garvey rookie for five bucks. We'd see those like all the time. The Steve Garvey rookie is a hundred dollar card in here now, and Ted Simmons is 150 bucks. We used to get that card for five bucks in like you know, pretty minty condition. I, I can't believe I just said the word minty, so <laughs> I should edit that out, but I'm not going to. Mint condition. I hate the word minty, hate it. Pet peeve of mine. I don't know why I used it. I guess I'm trying to spread awareness on how stupid it sounds, but uh. Yeah, definitely a cash grab on Beckett's part. Now you're going to buy, you know, if you want to keep track of what 
Dr. James Beckett considers to be the prices prices of these cards, and you gotta buy vintage Beckett, you gotta buy monthly Beckett, you gotta buy an almanac. But still, for nostalgic sake, I still enjoy reading the articles. I still enjoy looking back at um, you know, different prices and whatnot. And they got me an eBay card, which was really cool then. And then um, some pickups from this morning. I'm off to the flea market. I wasn't expecting too much, but um, got a couple of rookie cards while I was there. Castellanos 2014 Chrome was one I did not have, and I'm like, for two bucks, that seems like a pretty good deal. I'm gonna grab it from my rookie box. And another one that I was positive I did not have is 2010 Bowman. It's from the base set, and it's um, freshly retired Buster Posey. It's his Bowman rookie card, but it's a gold parallel. So I thought that was. Pretty freaking awesome. I got that for ten bucks. It was either nine or ten bucks, something like that, because the dude always gives me discounts because I uh, frequent his shop. But uh, I grabbed those two for the rookie box. And the final thing I'm going to show with you, I'm going to rip a bunch of packs open. But my brother Eric, aka Jabs Family, I feel like a lot of people ask me if Eric's my brother, so maybe that clarifies it for you. Jabs Family is my older brother Eric. He's four years older. Eric definitely hooked it up big time with a bunch of baseball cards. We're going to rip into. Some of these here tonight. We got a blaster box of 2021 archives, and this is actually from my dad. But my brother actually helped my dad acquire this. Tops Holiday, which I have not found this at all. I've been looking for it in I don't know how many WalMarts, and I can't freaking find it. Well, um, my dad and my brother hooked me up with that. We're gonna tear into both those, even though no one likes to watch me open newer cards, and I don't really blame them, frankly. And then Eric uh, hooked me up with this as well. I think this was the last one he had in his garage, but it was uh, 2021 Series 1, and I savagely ripped into this um, on <laughs> Christmas Eve, but uh, I got a few prominent rookie cards. There was nothing crazy in there, no short prints or anything like that, um, but there were some some decent rookies nestled away inside of there. Uh, the Rainbow Foil. I like how they brought those back. Pretty cool. Max Scherzer, whoops, another McCutcheon, um, but yeah, that was cool of him to do that, the last one that he had, and some other things as well, and some things I, I'm sure that you won't be surprised by, but Eric is continuing the flame on the 1990 top search, which will be coming up here on January 1st, I had one more box left, well, now I have two. And Eric is helping out with that. So thank you very much, Eric, for all these boxes. And there one more thing, or two more things to show you from Eric. Also got me a 2021 factory set sealed, which is pretty freaking awesome because I've been buying sets lately, uh, factory sealed top sets and whatnot. Whenever I see them for good prices, I grab them up. And I did not have the 2021 set, so that was pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to leave that sealed for now, but uh, very cool there. And... The final thing to show you, I was blown away by this. Blown away. Uh, PSA 10 Tatis Rookie Card 2019 Tops. Very, very awesome. I have a couple of this card raw. I have his Chrome in a PSA 10, which I bought like a year or so ago. I did not have the, uh, the flagship Tops Rookie in a 10. So that was pretty freaking awesome, and I was not expecting that. So thank you very, very much to my brother, Eric. For that, that will go with the rest of my slabs. And um, let's tear into some of these archives. I bought a box of these. I saw them at Walmart like, I don't know, a week ago. And couldn't help myself. I like how they have like the 2011 design in there. 62 and 73 and 91 and several others. But um, archives is a fun release. And maybe I can pull like an autograph or something like that. My... My new pack luck is absolutely awful. <laughs> Anytime I buy any kind of new packs, I never like really get any like major hits. But uh, maybe tonight we'll change that. Eight cards per pack. Let's see what we can get out of here. These packs are like, or these wrappers are like tough to rip open. We start off with the 91 design, Ernie Banks. Nice way to start it off. Kirilov's rookie card is a nice way to start it off also, the 91 tops design. There's Ron Santo, the 83 design. Cubbies, super pack here. Giolito, 73. Tanner's, 83. Design, rookie card. Mike Trout. You might have to scold me and yell at me if uh, 
I pass over any kind of short prints or anything. I have no idea. <laughs> There's Jeff McNeil, the 2001 Topps design, and Whit Merrifield, and a design that I have never seen before. Or at least I can't say that I have. But uh, nice first pack. I think so. A couple nice rookies in there. And there's a 2011 design. I like that design a lot. I'm not really sure why. There's something about it that catches me. Bryce Harper leading things off with the 62 design. The 57 design, Justin Turner and Reggie Jackson. Very nice. Daz Cameron, 62, rookie card. Juan Soto, and I like this a lot. Maybe it's just the nostalgia in me, but... Uh, the older tops big logo, rainbow foil. I think those are pretty cool, and they're not like obnoxiously big, <laughs> so you can put it in a binder page if you want to, or a top loader. Ozzy Albies, nice one there. Trey Turner, Kyle Lewis, and Hernandez ends the pack off. The gold foiled 2011 design. Let's see what else we got coming up. Kenta Maeda. 83, Nelly Cruz, and the DJ LeMayhew, Duke Snyder, and the Boys of Summer. Can't say I've seen one of these. I don't know. It looks like it's an insert card. Jackie Duke, Campanella, and Pee Wee Reese. Good thing it's not like a redemption for a Boys of Summer box. <laughs> That'd be pretty awful. Gary Sanchez, Tops Big, Rainbow Foil. There's Larry Walker, 2011 design, Campanella. And Shane McClanahan, rookie card, with a 2001 design. So much variety. Nate Pearson, rookie card, leading off. Bob Gibson, Corey Seager. Cody Hearer, 83 design. Probably butchered that name. That's his rookie card, though. This is Big Poppy. It's a nice-looking photo of him. Garrett Cole. Frank Robinson, and we have the rookie card of Paven Smith. Very nice. To end things off, we've got three packs left. Scherzer, a bunch of 62s in here. Scherzer, I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. Jim Tomey Goldschmidt. Ozzy Albies, and Don Drysdale. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know if that was like Archives has hot packs, kind of like Allen and Ginter. I don't know. It doesn't appear to be something like that. It's just weird collation. Perdomo, rookie card. There's a Mount Castle rookie. Very nice. 57 design. Mitch Hanniger. Tarek Skubel, rookie card. Matt Olson. My, oh, my. So I guess these are somewhat common. Buner, Martinez, Griffey, and Randy Johnson. What a lineup there. Christian Javier, rookie, 2011. Eddie Matthews in the back. John Smoltz, very intimidating glare from him. Trevor Larnich, rookie card. Brandon Lau. There's Aaron Nola, kind of a creepy smile on his face. Moncada. Bobby Dahlbeck, rookie card. Bazooka, that's pretty awesome. I didn't know that they threw those in there. like that. Munson, 01 design. Al Kaline. And there is Eddie Matthews for Criterium Racer. If you don't have that one, let me know, Lee. I'll put it in your stack. Let us go to the Mega Box. That was a fun rip, though. Archives is definitely fun. Uh, let's see what we can find in here. Let's see if we can find any short prints. Very excited for this. This is a long time coming. Thank you again, Eric, for hooking me up with all these. Let's see what we got. I think it's kind of tough to tell with the ones that are actually like foils or snowflakes. Clayton Kershaw, Devin Williams, Gold Cup, Mancini, Jose Barrios, Carlos Correa. I just realized I don't have his Bowman Chrome rookie, which I need to get. LeMayhew, there's Sam Huff rookie card. Man, crazed lunatic. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Yelich, Victor Gonzalez, and there is Javi Baez in his Mets uniform. First pack down. Maybe if I pass over a short print, let me know. There's a lot, a lot going on in these cards, you can see. Brandon Lau leading things off in this pack. Eric Hosmer. Is that a big head card? Maybe it's not. I don't know. His head looked real weird on there for a second. It like, didn't look like it matched his body. Wishful thinking those big head cards are super hard. I don't even know if they have them in Holiday, actually. I think they're all in Topps Update. I, my modern card knowledge is awful. Andrew Young rookie card. Granky. 
And we do have a snowflake in here. It's Cedric Mullins. Yeah, that's you can tell it's pretty tough to tell for the most part. I don't know. It's a naked eye, but you can definitely feel it. It's embossed. Cedric Mullins is definitely a decent one, though. Spencer Howard rookie card. Cattell Marte. McKinstry's rookie. Bo Bichette. And there is Jesus Aguilar. So end pack number two. And starting things off. Braylon rookie card. We have Gilberto's rookie. There's a bunch of rookies in here. Cabrian Hayes, very nice. Definitely be adding a bunch of these to my rookie box. Marcus Stroman, Garrett Cole, and we have a short print. That is freaking awesome. I never get short prints. I don't know how common they are in these packs, but Garrett Cole and the Santa hat short print. Definitely a nice one. Zach Birdie rookie card. Brennan Belt, Nick Solak, and we end things out with Jedi Martinez and Albert Pujols. That was a pretty awesome pack. I like that Garrett Cole. I think that's like the first short print I pulled out of a holiday ever <laughs> the last few years. But maybe they're more common than I realize. Kepler starting things out. Bellinger. For whatever some reason, like I said, Beckett prices are not really acknowledged, but I did notice in the new Beckett, like Bellinger's, all of his stuff has arrows next to it, like has gone up. And <laughs> I don't understand why, because Bellinger, I mean, I mean, you know the story. We have Kim's rookie card. Bellinger didn't produce anything at all in 2021, really. Trevor Story, Devin Williams again, Gold Cup. Byron Buxton. We have a Yerma Mercedes. That's pretty awesome, his rookie card. and First one of his that I have. Like that one a lot. Wilson Contreras. Jose Barrero. And Jared Walsh, Gold Cup, to end that pack out. Love this release. I just wish it wasn't so hard to get your freaking hands on. Because, like, my Walmarts have every other everything else. You know, Topps Update is in abundance there. And freaking Chronicles and everything else. But Holiday, I can't, can't find it, really, ever. Garcia, rookie card, Freddie Freeman. Jazz Chisholm, very nice. Pulled his autograph out of a jam pack box. Speaking of jam packs, we'll be opening the best of both worlds tomorrow night. Matt Chapman. And maybe this is actually a short print or something. I guess it is. Very cool. It's Pete Alonzo, too. The lights wrapped around his bat. <laughs> I love these. They're freaking awesome. So, I don't know. Maybe that Garrett Cole wasn't a short print. He had the Santa hat on. Typically, short prints are flipped upside down. But, very cool. Pete Alonzo. It's a nice one, too. No one Arenado in his Cardinals uniform. I can't ever get used to that. It's so weird. Elvis Andrews. Jared Kelenic, rookie card. Very nice. Definitely one I did not have. I don't have any rookies from this release at all. Xander Bogarts and Bobby Dahlbeck. Rookie, so definitely getting some that will be going in the rookie box. Very, very cool. And we start things out with Dalton Varsho, Mike Yastrzemski, Justin Upton, it's Corbin Burns, and we have another snowflake. This time is Dalton Jeffries rookie card. Definitely a nice one. Jose Ramirez. I just realized today I don't have his uh, 2014 Chrome rookie either. So that's one I got to put on my list now. Garrett, rookie card. Frankie Lindor. There is John Nagowski. It's kind of a creepy photo of him. But uh, that's his rookie card. And Kyle Lewis, second year gold cup. About to snag one. I like that one. And we have four packs left. Try to breeze through these a little bit quicker because this video is going f longer than I thought it was going to. Hunter Dozier starting things off. And we have Geraldo Perdomo. Another Perdomo rookie card. I saw one in the archives. Blaster, Vladdy Guerrero, Hendricks, Miggy. I think that might be a short print too. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He's got the Santa belt on. Maybe those are more common in 2021. Again, I have no idea. Zach Gallen. We have a Kill Badu. And uh, that's his rookie too. That's definitely a decent one. Also, Kevin Kiermeyer, Mike Trout, and Patrick Wisdom. They're getting a bunch of rookies. Three packs remain. Pretty stoked about this. Starting things off with Tatis. Very nice. Clark Schmidt rookie card. There's Pete Alonzo. Regular base. Brent Honeywell Jr. rookie card. Another snowflake. So it must be more common than I thought. Like one and two packs seems like. Con uh, Connor Brogdon. Altuve. Luis Garcia. Nice one. Yanni Molina. Rizzo and Guerrero Jr. 
with two packs left. And we got something in here. It looks like we have a relic. Might be Gary Sanchez, Sixto Sanchez rookie card. No, he, Arihara. Probably butchered that one too, but. <laughs> Steven Strasburg. I think people expect me to butcher newer names, newer cards. David Price, you Darvish. And the rookie card of Daz Cameron. We saw one of his in the last box. Blackman and Gary Sanchez. These are actually, I think, one per. I think they're one per box, I'm pretty sure. But uh, Snowflake Relic. That's pretty awesome. Like that. Yeah, typically that's like one, I think one relic or one auto per box. Final pack of holiday 2021. Let's see what names I will butcher in this one. Joey Votto starting things off. There's Scoobles rookie card again. Joe Adele rookie. Nice pack so far. Jose Devers rookie card. Kershaw. Glass now. Trevor Larnich rookie. Shohei Otani. There is Travis. Blankenhorn and Marcus Simeon to end that box. Freaking awesome, though. Bunch of rookies for the rookie box in both of those blasters. Very, very cool stuff. Thank you again to my girlfriend, Jess. Of course, my parents, everyone that sent Christmas cards, and my brother, Eric. Such an awesome Christmas. I hope that you guys all had a great uh, holiday as well. Please drop me a comment down below. And let me know what your favorite card that I pulled was or just favorite gift in general. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I will see you all tomorrow with the Jam Pack Box. And Tuesday's break, it has been determined, we are opening two more boxes of repacked wax. You may remember the last box I opened was a 36-count box. And it was pretty freaking awesome. There's lots of rookies in there. And just nice cards in general. Well, I got two 18-count boxes now to tear into for the last break of 2021. So I hope you will join me Tuesday night for that. And Wednesday, once again, I'll be selling off Corey's cards, a bunch of slabs and rookies. So you're not going to want to miss any of that. But that is it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all tomorrow night.